Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, laboring the word and doctrine of Shalom. And in peace may that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Now, you know, I've looked this up and I can't find any mainstream articleage upon it. You know, I found one from Reuters or Reuters, however you say that. And so we'll take it with a pinch of salt in terms of this specific one but yeah, there is some truth in it as you can see there you know, it makes a thing pass Man mandatory for all workers according to Reuters okay so we'll go into this yeah, we'll sort of read through it but like I say I can't find this in any, any place necessarily By, when I say read, I mean you read it. Yeah, I'm not reading this. <laughs> you know what happens when we start reading stuff like this? Video gets clipped. So, you know, I've seen this headline, as I say. But I've not managed to find it on a um, more mainstream you know, thing. It says, Italy makes the thing pass mandatory for all workers. Says private and public sector workers must have health pass, and what does it deal with? It deals with you either have to have the thing a negative test, or you have to have had the the actual you know, plague and be recovering from it. it. Says druggy looks to boost things, blunt virus. Italy becomes a test case for the rest of Europe. I know if it's in the rest of Europe, what does that mean? It's coming to Babylon soon. I don't get all. Oh, I don't. That's in it. That's that's far away, man. <laughs> it's far away now. Yeah, this whole. I remember when the first was it not? If I'm not mistaken, you know, the first, Ock, Dong. Was in Italy. If I'm not mistaken, you know, But I remember, or at least it was one of the first, and everyone was like, "Ah, oh, that's in Italy, bro." <clears throat> Talking about worldly people. Now that's in Italy. Don't worry about that. Yeah, it, won't, it won't hit us. You know, I do want to emphasize one more time that I have not been able to find this on a mainstream thing. But it's not too far off what they have said. And it's not necessarily too far off what will happen. Yeah, but we'll see. So even what they have written is not a righteous decree. So it says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and the right grievousness which they have prescribed to send, turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless and this thing is all leading to I'll get one more scripture I won't keep it too long Revelation 3 and 10 sorry Revelation 2 and 10 Fear none of those things which shall shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days, but thou faithful unto death, and I'll give thee a crown of life. So it might be, you, know, you might still have the option to work, but you need to get this thing or you get to prison. We'll see. It's, it's, it's got to get worse before it gets better. For Yasharala's sake. The elect's sake, and the Lord's name's sake. Sarak 4 and 28, the last one. I strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, shall fight for thee. Okay. So stay, stay vigilant. And when these articles are coming out, make sure you're checking it as well, before posting it. Because yeah, it could be true, but it could not be true. So we'll see. Alright, Shalom, Shalom.